Cancer Rising's April 2024 shows huge new career opportunities starting and coming your way, as well as making some pretty serious decisions around travel and school that could majorly change the trajectory of your life. So if you are excited to dive into what the astrology says about you for this upcoming April, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I make astrology videos and also music, which you can find down below, along with my astrology courses and my one-on-one -on -one readings. So we start out on the third with Venus conjoining Neptune in your ninth house. These two planets together show a ton of pleasure, enjoyment, and high-level beauty going on in your ninth house of higher education or foreign travel. So there's a theme of things happening around travel or school. And then on the fifth, Venus will enter your 10th house of career. So there's a lot of energy as well around career and attracting and manifesting things in job wise. On the eighth, there is then a total solar eclipse in your 10th house of career. This is the biggest new beginning of this year and it is all about starting something significant, life-changing and new with career. You could be getting a new position, a new opportunity, being hired, starting a business. This is a huge, huge trajectory that you are now embarking on. Then on the 9th to the 11th, Mars will conjoin Saturn in your Pisces ninth house. Mars and Saturn together is pretty objectively challenging. So this shows that there's some sort of effort, boundaries, and working through obstacles around travel or school plans that you're having to encounter. And on the 11th to the 12th, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in your ninth house. When the Sun and Mercury are together, this shows clarity and realization. So this is coming to, you know, help you out with realizing what needs to be done travel or school-wise. Then on the second half of this month, from the 15th onward, Jupiter will conjoin Uranus in your 11th house. Jupiter and Uranus together is positive abundance and breakthrough innovation. So this is very sudden, but very positive breakthroughs with your social group or joining a group of people. So something really positive and random and insightful is happening with your friends or groups. On the 19th, the sun will also enter your Taurus 11th house. So there's more energy going towards social movements as we get into the second half of this month. And on the 21st to the 23rd, the sun will square Pluto in your eighth house. You might feel pressure financially or with, you know, your bank account wise, you might feel some pressure monetarily towards what you need to do with groups. You could feel like you don't have enough money to do what you need to do with this group of people, or you could feel like you are being manipulated to do something with your money to get something across to these point of pe these people. There's something manipulative with money and this group of people happening where you might feel pressured. Then on the 23rd, there's a full moon in your Scorpio fifth house. Full moons are endings and times of letting go, and the fifth house is probably either going to be romantic relationships or creative projects. So you're either, you know, letting go of someone romantically that it wasn't that serious with, or you are letting go of a creative project and, uh, you know, letting go of something that you're working on because you've finished it and are releasing it. On the 28th to the 30th, Mars will conjoin Neptune in your ninth house. Mars and Neptune together is all about spiritual warrior energy and being the bigger person or, you know, having a lot of peace with how you're fighting. So this could be you becoming the bigger person or deciding to maybe even study something religious or spiritual in regards to school or travel plans. On the 29th, Venus will then enter your 11th house, adding even more ease and harmony to friendships and networking. And on the 30th, Venus will score Pluto in your 8th house. This once again may show that financially things are quite difficult in regards to what you're being required to do with this group and that pressure is getting to you. And finally, on the 30th, Mars enters your Aries 10th house of career, showing that as we enter May, you're having to put a little bit more effort into resolving challenges around work opportunities. So if you have any thoughts about what is coming up for you this April, do make sure to leave me a comment down below with how you're feeling. The tarot card that we have here for Cancer Risings this April is the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is all about like turning away from what you've accomplished. You got to the top, now what? So this is about the fact that you got to your goal and you're now looking for more fulfillment. Do not keep chasing the empty things. You know that they're not going to really be what lights you up. You need to chase something that is truly authentic to you. Hope that this was helpful and hope that you have an awesome April ahead. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you are not already. I know about 50% of you guys are. It would be great to get that closer to 100%. Otherwise, I hope that you have an awesome April and I will see you in the next one.